Hi guys, hopefully everyone is doing well today. Happy Friday and also happy Mother's Day to all of my friends on here who are mothers, who are mothers of children, pets, step children, in my case, I always say any child should is just special to have, period. So I just want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. Enjoy your weekend with your family. And um, that, yeah, that's it. Um, so anyways, today I wanted to do the long-awaited review of the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Mascara. And I actually picked up the waterproof. I really didn't want to pick up the waterproof, but they were out of the classic black um, and the regular formula. They only had like the brown one in the regular formula. Um, so I just picked up the waterproof because I didn't want brown. Um, but I have been trying this out for like two weeks and it's just okay. It just, it didn't wow me. I have a lot of other mascaras that are in my collection that can do a lot better than this actual mascara, but I like it. It's just okay. It's not over the top um, volume that it says. Um, for me, I'll, let me just read you what it says on the packaging. So it says it's going to give you up to 12 times the volume, and apparently there's collagen in the formula. So the back it says pumped up, pumps up lashes for up to 12 times the volume, pumped up brush delivers colossal impact, and then it just says for best results go from the root to the tip. Um, so let me show you the brush. So this is the packaging. It's real cute. At first I thought it was gonna, it was like a two system because if you can see here it's like divided right here, but it's not. It's it's just one. Um, thing so so this is the brush here um, the the bristles are really good I really feel like you know they separate the lashes really well um, and they coat the lashes really well um, kind of reminds me of like a q-tip um, form and then right here you see how it has like two bubbles I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do to the brush but it's just an extra cute thing on the wand so anyways, um, let me go ahead and zoom you in um, and do a demo for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so I've zoomed you in and I'm going to just do this eye with you today. So I've already curled my lashes just to minimize, um, you know, minimize the time. So I'm going to, and I'm using my viewfinder just so I don't get out of view for you guys. So I'm going root to tip. I, I really feel like it really coats the lashes really well. Um, I have not noticed any clumping or um, any fallout from this mascara, which is good because, you know, some of the reviews that I did, the mascara had like a bunch of fallout down here and I don't really notice that nor do I notice um, clumping so which is good I think I already said that boy it's hard using the viewfinder <laughs> okay so that's one coat and we'll do the lower lashes and I don't really find it hard to use this big old q-tip type brush I really feel like you know it really hugs the lashes and distributes the mascara as it should so that's one coat let me do I normally like to do two coats and you see how it really separates and adds length to the lashes for me, I don't know, I have other mascaras that will really get in there and look like I have more lashes than I do. This formula, I don't know, I just don't feel like it gives me, I mean maybe if I did, if I sat here and did four coats, but I feel like you see how it, you know, on towards the, the bottom lashes, it's like really dark, but 
um, you know, I really feel like you need to work towards that. And for me, that's a lot of work. You see how um, towards the tip there, it has like this big, this big clump. Well, you see that big clump there? So you just have to kind of take that off because otherwise you're gonna get that on yourself. That's one of the things that I have noticed. It's a little, I don't know, annoying. Um, and maybe, like I said, that's because I've had it open for two weeks, so it's starting to get a little bit thicker. So, back to the second coat. I'm trying to focus more in on the base just to see if it will give me a little bit more volume. I just feel like... I just feel like I have other mascaras that make my lashes look more fuller. My lashes do have a lot of length. I just wish that they looked like I had more lashes. And I don't know. I just don't feel like this formula does that for me, in my opinion. Okay. So let me zoom you guys in so you can see both eyes. Okay, so those are the lashes. I mean, I really, like I said, I do not, I don't dislike the mascara. So don't get me wrong. I like the mascara. I really feel like it's great. But volume wise, I don't really feel like it gives me the fullness. I mean, if I can go through my collection right now and choose two that I know or three right off the bat that gives me that deep dark full look that would be these three the butterfly the voluminous butterfly I don't know it just gives me that fullness like I've got fake lashes on look the regular voluminous and then also the Revlon grow luscious so I mean although I don't like you know I don't hate it um, I just feel like I have others in my collection that really give me that voluminous look so um, yeah, that's my review on this mascara. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it's helpful in making your decision if you want to pick this up or not. I did see another review on someone that had short lashes and she didn't really like it too much and I can probably see why. Um, you know, me with having a little bit longer lashes and I really didn't get that voluminous, um, pumped up 12 times the volume look. I really feel like the length was there, but I'm sorry, my lashes, they don't, I mean, they don't really look like this. You see right here at the base how it shows that it's real, real dark and makes them flare out. I don't really feel like it gives me that. It may give you that maybe after four coats, but after two coats, it really didn't give me that fullness look. And I keep saying that over and over, but that's just my honest opinion on this mascara, so. Although I like it because it didn't flake and, um, you know, it also with the waterproof formula, I almost forgot to tell you that it's not hard to remove this mascara for me. Um, I use my makeup remover and sometimes, well, I did try to use the wipes on it. It really didn't get it off too well. So maybe not the wipes, but my regular, um, makeup remover took it off so anyways guys that's my review on the maybelline pumped up veloc colossal volume express and um until my next video y'all take care and again happy mother's day to all of my friends out there who are mothers and i hope you have a beautiful weekend with your family take care bye <laughs>